Somebody in D.C. was feeding you guys quite a story prior to the bailout, a story that if we didn't do this, if we didn't do this, we were going to see something on the scale of the uh, of the Depression. We were t- There were people that were talking about, um, you know, martial law being instituted, uh, civil unrest, all this kind of stuff. Who was feeding you guys this stuff? Because, I mean, clearly clearly it worked on, on, on Sullivan. Clearly it worked on Coburn. It didn't work on you. Who was feeding you this information? That's Henry Paulson. We had a uh, conference call. Early on, it was on a Friday, I think uh, a week and a half before this, the vote on October 1st. So it would have been the middle, what was it, 19th, 19th of September, okay. we had a, a conference call. Uh, in, in this conference call, and I, I guess there's no reason that, for me not to repeat what he said, but he, he painted this picture you just described. He said, this is serious. This is the most serious thing that we face. It's far going to be far worse than the Great Depression of the 30s. And uh, all these things, he was very descriptive of exactly what would happen if, if we didn't buy out these toxic assets, okay. which he abandoned the, the day after he got the money. 